guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm gonna be talking about did the Galvans uh, create the Mega Morphs now before we start this video don't forget down to go down there and smash that subscribe button and if we can get 50 likes that'd be amazing and guys I just I think I just did a live stream so comment below did you come from my live stream and I would love your comment and reply and let's go into the video Alright guys, so this is Galvan Prime, the beloved home of the Galvans, and basically in Ben 10 Omniverse, um, Asmuth actually said that he uh, had this, made this core uh, with this amazing energy that um, they went onto the Galvan Prime moon and they made it into the upgrade species that we all know and love from the Ben 10 series. Uh, now let's take a look at this if this is the same story in um, the Ben 10 reboot So it said that Galvan, I mean um, Asmuth pretty much went to the moon again and He used this energy again But the only thing different in this story on the reboot is that Asmuth used the um, a blast from his ship to make uh, the moon, the the upgrade species, and the megamorphs. Uh, so pretty much one thing changed. So here's this is the screenshot, guys, uh, with um, him blasting the moon with the upgrade species, and soon they became intelligent. As you can see right there, they grew more and more, and that's how the Galvan the Galvans created the megamorphs. So again, guys, this is pretty much the same story, and. Yeah, the Galvans did create the Megamorphs. As you can see, the title was correct. It, they did do it. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think about this. Um, how do you think the uh, Megamorphs affected uh, the moon? And was it a good thing to colon colonize the moon? Um, because it might have an important job to the planet. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. It was just a really quick one. Uh, tell me if you came from my live stream and see ya!